Hello everyone. All right, I had this box on eBay for um, two thousand dollars, and oh, hold on, let me fix the camera again. And got the letter back from Baseball Card Exchange on Friday, October fourteenth. Inspected a box of nineteen eighty one Topps football wax packs. Blah blah blah. Uh, deemed all the packs in the box as being tampered with and resealed. There are signs that the wax on the back of the pack has been melted and sm smeared to reseal seal the pack. Uh, signed by Steve Hart. So I decided let's just open it on camera and see what kind of crap I got resealed with a long time ago. So to be um, to recap, I've had this. Um, box since probably about the year 2000 2001 maybe um this may have been one i bought earlier but i think it was about 2000 2001 um the box itself is pretty crappy now this um was what it was shipped back in uh, but the box itself is pretty crappy but the packs looked really good um but you know when i look after reading that it does look like like the lines are kind of going different directions, which I guess is the sign that uh, it uh, could be a bad thing. So we're going to open all these and see what kind of crap stuff we're stuck with. Um, hopefully, hopefully, if these are resealed, that there are still some Joe Montanas in here. I doubt that if they're resealed, but let's see. cards in each pack. Gum. Actually looks pretty good. I have some 1978 gum that looks horrible. Um, so this might be a restart. Videoing. I'm on live. Hmm? Okay. pack but it wasn't an awesome pack that one definitely didn't feel very sealed um, well, these gum looks really fresh for 1981 but Maybe we will get lucky. There's a Fouts. It's not horribly bad. Notice the team leaders are on the back of every pack. Um, not sure if that is... Oh, broken gum. Not sure if that's the way all packs come or if somehow a reseal put it into that order. Um, that'll be something I will research afterwards. And the sealed, when I open the pack, it comes through, or it, it comes apart pretty easily. It doesn't feel exactly right. Far no John Montaigne. Nothing really good thus far. Um, let's see, 1981. The other people we would be looking for is 
Walter Payton. That'll be probably one of the other big names. So far it doesn't look good. Way too easy. Another Dan Fouts. Not horribly bad, but definitely not who we are looking for. Oh, well, there's a team leader, Bears team leader. That's. This might have been one of those that was just uh, really good cards were pulled out. I mean, at least it has 1981 cards in it. But. I suspect if we don't pull a Montana that uh, what's going on is they went through and pulled out every Montana and then ended up probably replacing the card. Maybe they would have been nice and given us a crappy Montana in its place. That would have been awesome. Beat up gum. I remember him as a kicker back in the day. Oh, extra sticky with broken gum. I know there's value in selling the gum or the, um, I've seen a lot of repeat players, Pat Donovan, Raphael Septien, that's not a very good sign, and that one's pretty sticky too. Um, I know there's value in selling the, the wrappers and the gum, but, and like to know that people use those instead of collecting them, they use them to reseal packs is a, just doesn't make, doesn't sit well with me. I've seen some people, uh, once I started researching this a bit more, some people will post these on eBay saying, you know, <clears throat> we, uh, we're selling this as is, this is a tampered box, blah, 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 and people still buy it. Well, I just don't think I can put anything up like that. If I know it might be tampered like this, now that I have this letter, I just couldn't put this on on the bay again, we'll even, you know, oh, 49ers running back, wish that was a quarterback. And it's not looking good, guys. Uh, there is nobody good in these packs. Looks like I'll be selling some commons. Very, very disappointing. I do have another 1981 box. Um, that I will be looking at. Now it is a box that is in much better condition. Um, so it seems promising. But I'll be looking very closely at those. Maybe even sending it in to BBCE. Because if I can get an authentication, that would sit a lot better with me. Yeah, nothing but crap in these packs. Oh, that one, that does not look good. And it was towards the bottom. It's super stuck to the cards. Probably resealed. Steve Largent. Nothing but crap. No Walter Paytons, no Montanas. Oh, they 
Left all the fouts because he wasn't good enough to pull out and a few team leaders on every single thing. Archie Manning. Crap. Yep. Ah, it's so disappointing. No. Lesson learned. Of course, I bought these so long ago. No recourse. I have no idea who I got it from. So I will definitely have a lot of 1981 commons up for sale for set collectors. Oh, two cards right in a row, same card. open all of these and stack them and go through all of them. Oh, James Lofton. Not awesome, but not... Yeah, these are definitely crap packs. I bet that gum is probably not from even 1981. Yep, yeah, I've only got a couple other wax boxes that are not BBC certified or sealed or whatever. So I'll be investigating those very, very closely. This is super disappointing. Glad that the buyer worked with me to um, get this back so that I could actually do what we're doing now. Um, but every single one of those packs has the weird wax rolls. It's like so obvious now that I've researched it, but at the time, didn't know and now I do. Alright, just one well, Randy White. He's one of my guys back in the day when I lived in Dallas. Not so much a Dallas fan anymore. Not 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 a Dallas fan, but yeah, we have repeating cards. That's another thing I read online is that people will repeat when they resell packs, you'll see a lot of the same cards. They'll put like minor stars or whatnot. Yeah, lots of repeats. No Joe Montana. Well, last little stack. Looks like we got a bad box. Who needs 1981 commons? Cause I've got a bunch. Man, I would love if they just put one in here. Maybe even a Steve DeBerg, I remember him. Wrong 49ers quarterback. Yep, pure crap. Well, thanks everybody for looking. That's what happens when you get a resealed box.